We have a great video for you today about gliders. No, not those kind of gliders. These kind of gliders. Underwater remote controlled robotic vehicles powered by ocean currents. Back in 2009, a glider named the Scarlet Knight from Rutgers University made history as the first ocean glider to successfully cross the Atlantic. Now, scientists from the U.S. Integrated Ocean Observing System and Rutgers are upping the ante by attempting to send a glider all the way around the world. They're following the path of the HMS Challenger, the 19th century British ship that made history by circumnavigating the globe. They recently launched their second test mission on the road to making this a reality. You can read about that on our website, keyword search Challenger. So in honor of this, here's a fantastic video from Rutgers about the 2009 Scarlet Night mission to cross the Atlantic. It's a teaser for Atlantic Crossing, a robot's daring mission, a full-length feature film from 2010, directed by Dina Seidel and produced by Rutgers University. We wish the Challenger mission team the best of luck in their latest effort. We're doing something that's never been done before. We've been told it's impossible. We've been told by many people it is likely to fail. But we're going to try anyway. The challenge is to get a robot, an eight-foot robot, to cross the Atlantic. Godspeed, RU-27. We'll see you in Spain. It's a groundbreaking mission that's giving us data that we haven't had before. This data is critical to understand how the ocean is impacting climate change. So we have to understand what's going on in the ocean because it regulates the climate. And to understand the ocean, we have to sample it. And the only way we're going to do that is with robots. There is very little that is more risky that you can do with a robot than this. But we have to do it, and we have to do it now. There is a big urgency here. We're at a race against time because the oceans are changing in our lifetime. And major changes in the ocean have always resulted in major changes of life on us. This glider has a long and scary journey ahead of her. She has fishing nets that could grab her and end the mission instantaneously. There's hurricanes that can just toss her from the tops of 50-foot waves down into the troughs. There's the sea monsters. There's all kinds of biology out there. The squid, the sharks that can latch on, attack anything at any given time. Four months in, we have a glider in trouble. Something's causing her to spin, and we're at the mercy of the currents. We're going to get a biologist out there on the boat to see what's actually going on. There she is! I see her! I see her! I see her! There's a lot of growth. We're nervous about what the seas could do. They're not going to be able to spend too much time in the water with the swells that we're having. But right now, the glider's not flying. And we're still limited on air. So we've got to make sure that we work as fast as we can so that they're not in too long. Don't lose it, man. Don't lose it. We've crossed all the way from New Jersey to the European side of the ocean. Scarlet has flown longer than any other glider in the world for six and a half months. We're entering the most dangerous waters of all. Winter is a very bad time to be at sea on the North Atlantic. 25 foot waves. We have to get a boat out into those waves and go out and get her. Over there. Yeah, over there. We have a sighting. Yep, it's right there. It's right there. All right. 221 days. That's a long time to be at sea for anybody, especially a robot. The winds are picking up, the seas are picking up. So we got to get this operation over with quick. We have very little time. I do feel as an urgency that we develop the technologies that can study and understand where the oceans are, and more importantly, where it's going. Because that is going to be the critical thing that will determine how well humanity deals with climate change. We are hostage to what we don't know about the oceans. Congratulations, Scott. That is a moment in history. She's back. We're sailing back to the Spanish port of Bayona, the port that the Pinta returned to back in 1493 with the first news of the New World. We'll be returning to Bayona with the first news of Scarlet's successful Atlantic crossing. As a representative of the Obama administration and on behalf of the government of the United States of America, I am both pleased and honored to accept the return of the Scarlet Knight, now an historic artifact which symbolizes cooperation among our nations. You can see all the kids touching the glider and it's just amazing to see it's exactly what we wanted. Hopefully it's something they remember for the rest of their lives.
head to our website, oceanservice.noaa.gov, for links to learn more about the Challenger mission from Rutgers University and where you can find more about this great movie, Atlantic Crossing, a robot's daring mission. This is Making Waves from NOAA's National Ocean Service. <laughs>